Hi everybody, my name is Rubina. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. How are you doing in these crazy times? How is your quarantine slash lockdown going? I've been kind of demotivated and uninspired most of the time, but I finally came up with an idea for an easy and relaxing DIY on which I could spend some hours. So a couple of months ago, I bought two of these bedside lamps from Ikea and I was really enthusiastic at first when I saw them online and then in the store but then when I came home and I put them on I realized they were missing something they were not giving out the vibe that I was expecting they were lacking character so I decided to decorate them unfortunately I was moving right before the lockdown so I'm missing 99% of my art and craft supplies but this didn't stop me, I've decided to do the best that I can with the things that I have available here. They're going to be similar but very different, like the same style but two different subjects. For the first lamp, the idea that I have is since my new bed set has that's had moths on it, I decided to create some moths and to put them around the lamp like if they were attracted by the light. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do this. So what I have here is a cutting board, I have some black cardboard, I have a bunch of designs that I have printed and a bunch of stuff that I could find at home. So here I have a pencil, a marker, a pen, I have a cutter, a compass, I have glue stick, and then I have something completely different. I have a makeup brush. I have some really cool holographic pigments by Chaos Makeup. And then some Duraline by Inglot, which is a waterproof makeup mixing liquid. And this spoon that I'm using to mix the pigments. So the first thing that I did was to look up on Google for the easiest that's had moth design that I could find and to print it. Then, since it's still too detailed for what I have to do and for my skills, I'm gonna take a marker and I'm gonna make the design even simpler. Okay, now that my design is simpler, I need to transfer this design on the black cardboard that I have here. And I couldn't come up with an easier and faster way to do that, so here is how I'm gonna do this. I take my black cardboard, I take my design and I place it on it. And then I'm gonna need something pointy but not sharp. So I'm gonna use a ballpoint pen and I'm going all over my design again, pressing quite heavily to leave a mark on the cardboard. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but I left a trace on the cardboard. Now, to see it better, I'm gonna go all over it again with a pencil. Okay, here is my mop. And now with a cutter, I'm gonna cut all through these little holes. Okay, now that I've finished cutting all the little holes in my design, I'm gonna help myself with a needle. I only have this compass available at the moment, so I'm gonna use this. And I'm going all around the edges to avoid any ripping. Okay. 
I'm gonna do little holes for the teeth of the skull and here is the mouth. Now I really want to give a special touch to it so I'm gonna use some holographic pigment on the wings of my mouth. You can slightly see it from the jar but it shifts from purple to green to blue and it's really really beautiful. I don't know why I choose a spoon for this. <laughs> so I'm putting just a tiny bit of pigment here and I'm mixing it with the waterproof mixing liquid. This is not only helping me to apply it but it is also supposed to seal the pigment. I bet you can't see anything now, but it's gonna look so special. As you can see, I've already created a bunch of moths and I have folded the little wings at different angles like some are more open, some are more closed to give a bit of movement and to stick them to the lamp I'm gonna use simple glue stick I know you might think this is not strong enough but since these are very light and I kind of like the idea that if I get bored I can remove them, clean the lamp and do something new I think these will do the job properly Okay, here it is. Let's put this on and see how it looks like. Now we are going to decorate the second lamp. I want them to have the same style but to be unique, so this one is going to have a different subject and a different color. My first idea was to make three branches, something like this, but it was not convincing enough, so I came up with another idea since we are going to have some Lovecraft inspired prints all over the place. I thought that a really nice idea was to make tentacles. So since this one is going on my boyfriend's side of the bed, I made him the side and he preferred tentacles, so it's gonna be tentacles. I think the process for this one is going to be slightly simpler because I don't have to print any design and transfer it on the cardboard, I'll just draw some tentacles on the cardboard. Okay, now that I've finished cutting all the tentacles, it's time to color them. This time I'm using a different holographic pigment, always by Chaos Makeup, and this one shifts from gold to green to blue. I will only be coloring the external part of my tentacles.
Here we are. Now I'm going to stick the tentacles to the lamp and then I'm gonna shape them. I'm kind of jealous now. I want this on my side of the bed. Okay, let's put this on and see how it looks like. So here is the final result. I must say that I'm quite satisfied. I thought that this one would have been my favorite, but I must say that I love this one the same way. It took me a lot of time to do this, almost an entire day, and that was kind of the point since I am locked down in my home with not much else to do, but it was kind of relaxing. That's all for now. I hope that you are all good and safe. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, you already know what to do. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you the next time. Bye!